couple tutors from my undergrad had been to afters and some students uh, in some years above me had also been and I kind of seen seen what they had gone on to do and their careers. Afters has a really good reputation and so by saying that you've come from afters, um, people know the teaching and what you learn there and the kind of projects that come out of afters. And so I just decided to apply, not really thinking anything of it. I kind of applied thinking I wasn't gonna get in and then I got in and now I'm finished. <laughs> yeah, definitely wasn't what I expected when I got here, especially cause I, um, I'm from Brisbane, so kind of coming here, starting the course, and then also like moving cities. And so it was like a lot um, in in one year, but it, it was, yeah, kind of a great first experience <laughs> in Sydney. You're not gonna be spoon fed anything. Um, you're either doing independent research based on a topic that you've chosen, which is what your ex exegesis will be on. And you're not taught like very like extremely specific technical details. That's kind of assumed knowledge that you already have coming in. What you're taught is kind of more broad, creative thinking that is focused on the discipline that you're in. Um, so I guess in sound, you're kind of thinking of more like broad creative concepts that will allow you to create like better sound design and change the way that you approach films that you're working on as opposed to this is how you use Pro Tools, this is how you edit a clip, this is how you do this. You're treated like everyone's on like an even playing field and even if you did have like less experience than someone you can bring a different perspective in because you don't have you're lacking in some knowledge and so that perspective can sometimes be an advantage because you're looking at it at a diff from a different point of view to someone else. Yeah, it's just really nice having other people who are also like going through it with you and are also going through the edit process and you can vent your frustrations with them. At, like um, if there's a particular project that comes in and it's just creatively hard or even just like technically hard and you're just like, ah. Um, <laughs> It's, yeah, it's just nice to have other people there kind of who, who understand it all. It's very different to like other student teacher relationships. Um, it kind of feels a lot more um, equal. It's more of a like a mentorship as opposed to I'm the one with all the knowledge and I'm imparting this knowledge on you. It's kind of more of a someone you can go to for guidance or for advice. Um, and while there are like some aspects to that, especially when you get um, uh, like industry uh, people coming in so people who are regularly working coming in like dialogue editors coming in and they kind of you know give you tips and tricks and kind of show you their process and how they approach things that's when you kind of get some more like detail oriented teaching we had a sound mixer come in called Sam Hayward who's done um, done quite a few things. They did um, Baby Teeth recently and he came in and he had heaps of projects that he wanted to show us and it was really hands-on and he got like really in depth with how he approached mixes and how um, was just like really open um, to any questions we had and like was even going like opening Pro Tools sessions and going into like the the details into how he approached it and why he made certain choices and things like that so that was really really valuable. This might be cliche but you only get out what you, what you put in so if you don't put in a lot of effort or you don't um, you know raise your hand for different projects then you're not going to develop your skills and you're not going to develop as a creative person but the more projects that you do and the more that you get involved the more you're going to get out of it because you're able to make more mistakes, but then you're also able to learn more and you're able to grow more. Like even the thing that kind of pushed me to apply was the fact that I kind of lacked confidence in my skills or I lacked confidence to go into the industry. So what I've learned is to like, not only have my skills improved as well, but I have the confidence to, to back those skills up. And I do have good and creative ideas and that my perspective is valid, um, which is, a really good, um, it's a really nice revelation to have. Mm -hmm.